And so it's amazing to me that healer equals bearer. I'm looking at titles of God that equal um, Lord. And it's amazing what God has ordained. Pardon me. That's fine, whatever. Um, but you can split almost every single one of these into the great names of God. I am God. Okay. So the word heal equals God. And then you add the ER, the great I am. Healer, I am God, but bearer. And it's so beautiful. Like it's so precise and so satisfying to, to see the math that um, the word bearer equals the word healer. And you, um, like, just so glaringly. Like, the B and the H differ by 6 perfectly. The L and the R differ by 6 perfectly. And then every other letter is the same. Remember, it's offsets of 3s for the Trinity. 6s are ideal, in my opinion. But the, um, the healer is the bearer. That's Jesus. That's God. The biggest problem we have on earth today is humans turning to someone else other than God to try and get their satisfaction. So, in the realm of healing, they turn to technology. They turn to a human. They turn to their doctor. They turn to their mother. They turn to... They think of someone... It all begins up here with your thought. Actually, it begins in your soul. But people, when they have a problem, they think of some human first, rather than thinking of God. And that's got to change. <laughs> My God, and I've said, Jesus is the healer. God is the healer. But, but how are children going to understand that unless they see the math on the word healer and the word bearer and say, oh my gosh, mathematically, those two words contain the personal names of God. So who is my healer? Who is my bearer? Well, Jesus is. God is. The great I am is. Oh, well, if I, if I have sickness in my body, who do, I, who do I phone? Who do I call out to? Well, clearly I call out to God because that's the math that's sitting in the word heal. And the word bear. If, if I have a burden, if I feel burdened emotionally, physically, in any way, financially, who do I cry out to? Well, clearly I cry out to the bearer of all burdens. Oh, the word bear equals God. And in the sovereignty of God, a bear is also a very strong animal that is very powerful and very capable of lifting heavy things. Call upon the bearer. God, bear equals God. Call upon God. And he'll bear your burdens. Like prayer, the word pray equals one God in order. You know? But you need to know the words to say. If you're an English speaker, God probably wants to hear you speak his personal names in English. And if you keep saying the personal names of God all day long, and it's just like he, he, he will provide for you. Like, it's all prayer. Like, it's just, it's just, if, if you want to get what you... Anyways, so bearer equals healer equals Lord. But we're, um, you know, it's amazing. So I'm looking at titles of God equal 49, and we're just seeing it all clearly. So I started with the word speed, okay? Uh, because that's what I feel constantly. Okay. When you're filled with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost is a fire. A fire never stops burning, and it burns fast uh, much of the time. It can also burn slowly, you know, when you're just, you know, lying in the presence of the Lord, what have you. But literally, you feel the speed, you know, when um, you're up and going. But speed has, I noticed, has God at the dead center. <laughs> it's so amazing how it all just comes together for God's names. It has God at the dead center. Well, how does... How is that built? Well, P-E-E, -E, the word P in order. So when you're teaching your children, your, your children, potty train them, you say, did you go P-P? -P? You just said, did you go God, God? Because God, there's people out there that need healing, and they wish they could pee. They're constantly, they need healing from God. And believe me, <laughs> of course, we don't need to talk about this, but it's like, it's like P equals God. It's something you do every day. And you're going to be doing it till the day you go home to glory. Well, thank Jesus every time you pee. Thank God every... It's the glory of God. P equals God. Done. Now you know why it's spelled that way. 
And then the flanking bookend letters SD equals I am, the grade 23. So speed equals Lord equals I am God. I am God. I am God. In the word speed. And now think to yourself, where do I see the word speed in God's universe? Well, on the road, of course, there's speed limit signs, but more importantly, on your lips, when you're a burning fire, when you're hot as a Christian, you're going to move fast a lot of the time. You're going to move fast. You're going to... So, so I start and that now I'm now I've put the word speed in my list of titles of God that equal 49. Um, the word sign, okay, I am God. People ask for a sign, we'll look at the word sign. I am God, mathematically in the word sign. I n I am S G God. Sign equals Lord equals I am God. That's why it's spelled that way. That's exactly why it's spelled that way. Everywhere, all over this universe. Um, the word alive. I am God. The word way I, is, is, I love the shortest packages because God is the king of efficiency. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. As a personal gem, which I will confess to you, my name Derek in Hebrew means way. Derek. Those three letters in Hebrew mean way. Okay. In, in English, the name Derek means uh, ruler of the people, leader. That's someone who walks in the way, someone who follows the true leader, God Almighty, in the way. Like, they're walking in the way. Follow them. <laughs> Trust them. So way equals, W is I am, and then A equals God. In three letters, in three letters, way is in order, I am God. And then you think of the word pray is one God. They end in A, A, A. Whenever you say A, a is a very, and as you see, the floodgates open, you're just getting satisfaction from the letters of Christ. A, 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 we say. That's a very famous way to make 26, because it's 1 plus 25. Z is the most famous of all, because in one letter, Z, the final letter of the alphabet, equals God. And now you know why. At the end of the day, we go to sleep, and in books all over the universe, in God's universe, they write Z, 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 because at the end of the day, you sail off into bliss with God inside of you by his spirit and zzz, you sleep peacefully at night. Z, Z, Z equals God, God, God. In every book ever published, every book all over this universe, Z, 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 sleep, 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 God, God, God. So A, Y is 25 plus 1 equals God. So we could do very quickly an, an entire word search on English words that end in A. I mean, the most obvious thing that comes to mind is, yay God. <laughs> yay God. Well, of course, yay God. Those, those words were meant to be on our lips because they're mathematically perfect. Um, so right now I have a computer by God's sovereignty. I can search, I can get all the words in English language that end in A-Y, which is to end mathematically in God. And there's a lot of them that he's ordained. The computer's ripping through it all right now. There's thousands of English words. Um, and there's a lot, but it's fun to... So the very last word is yesterday. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Well, God gets the last word on yesterday in basic math. Um, the word yay <laughs> is right at the end. Day, work day, is, I'm going from the, the back of the list up. Yesterday, yay, work day, work day, word play. Um, you know... The family that prays together, the family that, the family that they say the family that plays together stays together. Well, what's what's common in those words? A A A. God God God. Play pray stay. God God God. See, but it, but all these things are lies without God. You say, oh, if our family just plays together, we'll stay together. No, your family needs to worship God together. <laughs> And your family needs to be conscious of God when they play together. And your family needs to have God in their minds when they do anything together. And then your family will stay together. The word family contains an A-Y, which is God. Are you getting this? Just now you're getting like how much God owns every single word. And w when you think about God, you think about all that he is. And it, when you speak his personal name, it, it changes you. Spiritually, words are like water, and when you speak the personal names of God, you get set free. You, you grow. You literally grow like a tree grows, okay, into more and more of the likeness of God Almighty. And that's what we want for everyone on earth. Um, so, 
So I'm looking at, there's not a, this is a doable list of all the English words that end in A-Y. I would estimate um, there is, by my initial, there were, there is, from this list that I'm looking at, there was between 100 and 200 words that end in A-Y in the English language, closer to the 200 mark. That is absorbable by all humans. Like, that is... <laughs> um, I'm just going through them anyway. Way is a common ending, which is I am God. Jesus is the way. Array. Um, say, away. A. See, now, you, now your eyeballs are healed everywhere you go. And when you see... Um, Babe, lay. Okay, so there's so much. Way is common. Blue jay. A blue jay. Birthday. Okay, we're at Christmas. There's, there's, there's words that are more famous than others that I would prefer to start with, like birthday. Okay, so now we theorize that at, that ends mathematically in God, a Y. So let's look at the beginning now, and then after that is the word blue jay, like. Okay, two very famous words for very different reasons. Birthday. Yeah, like every eternal soul that has ever existed and ever will exist has a birthday. Pretty important word. Blue jay. Pretty awesome animal. They've been around for since the dawn of Eden. So, um, big words here. Important words. So they both end in God, the famous A. Well, let's take a look at the rest of the letters. Um, the more you look, the more you see. And that's why it's always satisfying, studying Gematria and studying... It's <laughs> just like... So, in birthday, um, it's just the more you look, the more you see. How much patience do you have? How much time do you have? Um, I see the 50 in there. In total, the letters in front of the God is 68. Or 61, excuse me. So I have many titles of God that equal 61. Giver. Um the Lamb. Jesus is the Lamb. Um, so birthday equals the God-man. Well, that's Jesus. He, well, this is good. Birthday equals the God-man. Equals the God-Lamb. Well, whose birthday is the most famous of all in world history as a physical human? Jesus. It's December 14th. Don't argue with history. There is more stuff that happens at Christmas time than any other birthday in the history of the universe. So when you talk about the word birthday, you need to talk about Jesus. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. This is good. Holy Spirit. This is good. I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to analyze because I've loved birthday parties my whole life. I always had great birthday parties as a kid. But when you talk about the word birthday and when you analyze the word birthday, you have to it's just the truth will come to light. Math, the mathematic, the, the math is declaring the personal names of God and Jesus. So let's, who doesn't love a, a birthday? This is so famous. So we're going to get this in the computer. We're going to use the word computer to analyze the word birthday for us. And I see many titles of God. Um, that's beautiful. So there's there's a lot to preach on, of course. There's a lot to see and a lot to say. Um, always go to the center, and I see some there's some obvious stuff in there. Ooh, birthday. That's right. It ends in father. Father gets the last word on birthday, and then God is the last two letters. That's so cool. Okay, that's see. This is where you have to. Um, Amazing. Uh, life um, is right in front of that. There's so much to see. Um, but you, you want to get the obvious first. Okay, so there's Jesus mathematically in the word birthday. There's Christ in the word birthday. Um, here's Holy Ghost in the word birthday. Um, here's love in the word birthday. So all the... <laughs> it's so satisfying finding all the major titles of God in a famous word. Like, the computer is flawless, my code is flawless, it's squeezing all the glory out. And it's just sitting here in front of my eyeballs. 
the Son is in there, the Father is in there. But I'm very I'm most curious about God, the twenty six getting the last syllable. That's very glaring. Father gets the last fifty is at the dead center, twenty eight is at the dead center, which and you start to memorize. Um these personal names of God, and I'm making notes, um, and I'm noting more and more and more. It, you're putting a, pu a puzzle together, is what you're doing. Um, so, for example, the center of the word birthday is the center of the word father, is the center of the word faithful, is the center of um, the word hairs, and the center of the word brain. Okay, so we always go to the center of words. Okay and see what is what God has ordained mathematically to be at the dead center. Um, ooh, that's good. Uh, the word call, which equals the root of the word naming, to, when you're calling someone or you're naming someone, what's the first thing you do after a baby is born? Well, you name them. You call them by name. You call them something. Um, well, that's the 28 at the center of the word birthday. Um, and one of the most famous titles of Christ, of course, is Lamb. Lamb equals man. I love it. This is a good one. And that is at the center of the word birthday. So, so meditate on this with me, if you will. Who in world history, here's a question for every human on earth. Who in world history okay, was born in human flesh? That is to say, they had a birthday. And they are both called man. And they are called lamb. They are called the man of God and the lamb of God. Who is it? Jesus. But you see how we started with the word birthday that everyone knows. We knew, we knew, we saw that we went to the center of the word birthday, which is the most satisfying to go to the center of anything. And we saw the great 28. The TH is very glaring too, because a T is 20 and H is eight. Well, <laughs> that's, that, that this is, does that not scream out 28? Very strong, 28. Okay, so what's the famous title of Christ? Because remember, Christ, the Son, is, is the one who has had the most famous birthday of all. Okay, so what's the famous title of Christ that equals 28? Lamb. Man. He is the man of God. He is the Lamb of God. And, um, amazing. And so, you, uh, you, you, I'm, we're making all these notes as to what has this great um, 28 mathematically at the center of it. Let's not kid ourselves, the word penis has 28 at the dead center of it. And that's, of course, the center of <laughs> man, like, <laughs> physically speaking. And uh, so we're making this list of all these, um, you know, titles of God, the famous words that have 28 at the dead center. And you're putting a puzzle together. It's that simple. Okay. Um, so, and then pushing out from that, you get um, the 50, okay, which... Um, we saw has very, very famous titles of God. But it's when you slow down and compare letter for letter the math that you get um, more confident in w what is strongest, being strongest, the name of God that is being strongestly declared by a given set of letters. Um, It's <laughs> just amazing. Um, okay, and just quickly, just a little bit more on this word birthday. That's so profound. The birthday of Jesus. So the word, I mean, I would an you analyze the word birth. <laughs> it's just so satisfying to see God's ownership over all these words. word birth equals human, but uh, it's a good brain workout, and it's satisfying to do little bits at a time. Um, birthday, so you could say, giver, God. Oh yeah, so the lamb, the God, man. So one of my favorite would be birthday equals the God, man equals the God, lamb which we know is Jesus, but that's a, um, um, a completely doable split 
and wait for it. Yeah, that's a completely doable split. Remember, words are like diamonds, okay? Word equals diamond. This is a gold pen with a diamond on the top as a reminder, okay? Word equals diamond. And what can, diamond, what can we do with diamonds? You can split them. You can split a big diamond into smaller diamonds. And that's what God has ordained in words. Words are split into letters, which are little diamonds, which you see the names of God, which last forever. So birthday can be split mathematically, cleanly, into the God Lamb. Birthday equals the God Lamb, equals the God Man, Jesus. The word the also equals amen. So you have very three very famous titles of God sitting in the word birthday. God, Lamb, Amen. Jesus in the word birthday. Okay. Um let's just go a little bit deeper here. There's Lord, Lord at the front of uh, birthday, but I, but I'm looking at this the sixty ones here, the Lamb. Interestingly, the um, the word miracle is there too, people. But I would say um, birthday equals the. Um, the God man, the God lamb, Jesus. Jesus, the God man. Okay. Um, I mean, and God plus man equals love. And that's what uh, Jesus' birthday is all about. He came to reunite God with man. Okay, just as a follow up, let's just. You gotta go deep, man. Um, interestingly, so now if you look at uh, the word blue jay, which ends in God, A-Y, you got 50 points in front. Ironically, that was 50 in the front of birthday too. Um, all creation. Every creature is for God's glory, and every creature is worshiping um, the Trinity day and night. So I'll just quickly, um, as I look at the word, the letters blue J, the end in God, you know, the B-U is I am, it, and um, yeah, that's very stunning. Um, excuse the sound effect. Um, wind, God. Wind, God. Yeah. God. Very fascinating. Fascinating. Blue J. I would pick in order vine, like titles of God in order. Vine, God, or joy God, or uh, wind. God. Okay, let's keep going. Um, breakaway. Breakaway. Interesting. It is so, like, if you're really good, you will memorize all of this. Oh my gosh, I forgot the most obvious thing of all. Birthday equals truth. Jesus is the truth. And then I noticed that breakaway um, equals birthday. Okay. Um, you need to break away. <laughs> you, God calls you away from unsatisfying things. That's because God is nuts about your happiness and your satisfaction. So when we talk about the breakaway, um, 
in the right, it's going to be you breaking away from unsatisfying stuff. Period. <laughs> it's like, um, but so Jesus is the truth, birthday equals truth. And then you can slow down and see how many letters are shared between the word birthday and the word truth, and it's pretty abundant. Um, but it's amazing how everything relates to Jesus. Everything relates to Jesus. Like the word breakaway. Oh, Jesus came to break us away from our unholy uh, um, relationships with poverty, uh, disease, um, failure, weakness, just sin, you know, the curse of the devil. Jesus came to break us away. And, um, and if you, you just dig into the word break away mathematically and just be like, okay, so it ends in God, you know, just like the word birthday, it equals truth. And um, so much to see. But yeah, I would split it into, uh, you can easily split it into the God. Very interesting. Um, sometimes um, it, it's almost ridiculous to me. Um, once, once you know that God's names are ordained in every word that you've ever seen everywhere, including people's names and place names and business names, um, the world becomes clear to you who, who owns it and who's in control of every single atom. God is. And um, this is a revolution in education. Uh, because if, if everyone, and I've said, if everyone sees, it has their eyes open to the perfect uh, names of God everywhere in all the words, but you're just like, even simple words. What I'm saying is, even simple words, you know, point to God. Of simple words of regarding simple objects. I've preached obvious ones like an exit sign on the top of doors equals father because father's on top and he's in the dead center. But but simple things, simple things. Everything points to God. <clears throat> but you need the Holy Ghost, your personal tutor, to interpret all the metaphors, and and enlighten you regarding the metaphor of it all. Um. Well, Bombay, Blue Jay, Bray. Um, I mean, the most obvious thing with Blue Jay, yeah, that 50 in front. There is so much to see. God. 14. Oh, my word. Um, so. There's a double 26. Oh, man. See there? You, you, you take... You gotta slow down. You, you have to slow down to get your satisfaction. So the word blue, Jay. This is glaring. The word blue ends in God. U-E. Blue ends in God. U-E. That's Because that's the U-E in Jesus. And the rest in Jesus equals Son. We know that U-E equals God. And then A-Y equals God. So the end of the word blue is God. The end of the word J is God. That's pretty awesome. You'll never see a blue J the same ever again. You'll never say the word blue J. You'll be like, blue J. Who gets the God? God. Um, but what's left over now? It's like, what, what, what is left over? What did God ordain to be left over in this math? Like, what is, what is the rest of the message? Like, you got a B and an L and a J, which... Um, is 24. It's a 1, a 2, and a 3. Okay. Plus 1, plus 2, so it's 2 divides by 3. And then you, you put, you, I would pluralize blue jays, blue jays and see what other flavor you get coming at you. Okay, well that's fascinating. Layer by layer, your eyes get open and your brain gets enlightened. So, more words that end in A, which equals God, I love the simple words like clay, every day. So God gives you many days on this planet. So days, 
equals speed equals I am God. Okay, a K. Um, interestingly, so the first word is A, which is a greeting. A, A, how's it going? Um, a fray. Literally, it's it's fun to. Um, aye, aye, aye. But this is learning. Um, That's how it works. Okay. God is sovereign over the English language. Uh huh. Allay. Allay. To diminish or put at rest, to allay fears diminish or put at rest. Allay. Wow. <sighs> Allay equals all God. God is the all in all. But it's it, to me it's very glaring, this word allay. Say, so who is going to allay our fears? Who is the one? This is great. This is awesome. So when I look at the word allay, okay, and I see straight out of the dictionary here, Okay. A common use of the word allay is to allay fears. People get calmed down. Okay. To allay anxiety. To allay is to uh, diminish, ease off, soothe, relieve, alleviate. Okay. To allay fears. To allay. Um, that's that's to allay someone's fears, to allay someone's anxiety, to allay worry, to allay um, pain, to allay someone's hunger is to relieve their hunger. So there's this uh, sense of um, calming satisfaction, like relief, to allay to allay someone of something is to relieve them to relieve them of the suffering, to relieve them of the torment, to relieve them of the, um, the agitation, the, the disrest, the discomfort, the, um, the, the dissatisfaction, really. And so now I'm in love with this word allay, and I know that God owns the word allay, that God is my allayer. It's crazy how obvious this is. The word all starts the word, and then we know that A equals God, A-Y equals God. But this is confirmed by the fact that go to the dead center of the word allay, and you also have all, and the bookends equals God. Okay? So, God is our all. Okay? Allay is all God. Mathematically in order, allay, all God. Okay? Um, and then God would be called the allayer, and we know er equals I am. Okay. So that's those are the most glaring titles of God that I see in the word of Allah. Say who is the one? It's just people people are constantly anyone who is dealing with anxiety or fear, they're thinking to themselves that there has to be something or someone in this universe that can allay my problems. <laughs> well it's God. Do the math on the word allay. And you will see. God, and he obviously, and he likes the name God, and he likes the sound of G-O-D, and he likes the letters, and he likes the math of it, and he likes, he wants to hear you say God. He wants to hear you say that with your lips. God, 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 would you please, now if you're really good, you'll put God's name in front of this word allay, and you'll say, God, can you please allay my fears? God, can you please allay my you know, my financial worries. God, can you please allay my suffering? God, can you please allay, you know, my difficulties with people, problems, whatever. 
is it's like once you know that God likes the word allay and it's like made for him, you're just like, God, please allay me of all my suffering. God, please allay me of this physical ailment in my body. Jesus, please allay me of <laughs> just like but who are you crying out to for the allaying? Well, clearly God, because that's what allay is saying. Um, okay, so for my own thorough, whew, that's good. So allay in total, I, I, I love going deep and just um, baking in the glory here. So other, so allay in total equals 51 equals great, equals feel, equals the head, God is the head of all equals full. That's good. To allay, allay equals full. To allay someone's hunger is to fill them up until they're full. But I'm so excited about it because you got the double L corresponds. And then AAY is a fabulous trio that makes half love three times three times three, which is the FU in full. It's amazing how when you see the perfect correlation and the obvious thing that comes to your mind, say we need to allay the world's hunger, which is to say, God wants you full. He wants you satisfied. God is the allayer. Allay equals full. Say, I am. I have now been allayed of my hunger, which is another way of saying, I am full. I am full. I am full. I have been allayed. <sighs> it's like... Your brain needs an, this workout. That's why I, stu like, I study Gematria by instinct, by, because it, it satisfies my curiosity. I need to know, I need to see the glory of my God in every word he's ever given me. Um, so, allay equals full. Feeler equals full. The head, huge title of Christ and God. So, allay. I'll bet you anything. Oh, yeah. I can see, wait for it, oh, that's painfully awesome, like in a good way, look at that, a lay, um, you can, yeah, you got the A, the T equals strong correlation between the head and a lay, and, uh, great, Tom. okay, that's pretty good for me, I'm, we've milked this one word pretty good and hard, um, uh, but I'm just adding more notes to this database here. Um, it's fun. Um, seeing God's glory mathematically in simple words, in famous words, um, like pi for math. And uh, how that equals all as a title of God. Okay, let's keep going. A lay. So, in short, I, allay equals all God. That's the simplest declaration that you can make um, from the word allay. It's all God. He's the one who allays your fears and uh, your hunger. All right, so what else ends in A, which is God? There's so many. Um, an array. <laughs> Um, every day, God. Um, delay, display, display, doorway. Um, entryways, a lot of ways. An essay. Mm hmm. Every day, of course, every way, fade away, fade away. Um, you know, you have to learn new words in this journey. Um, Twenty-four, six. Michael Faraday, you know. God. Ooh, that's crazy. Oh man. Like 
Jesus, God Almighty, he was flayed. That's that's pretty crazy. Flay, float away, fly away, fly away, fall away, foot away, foray. It's amazing, like spiritual warfare, when you, um, like I'm looking at the word foray, but you should think about that word spiritually. Um, like, um, you know, when you when you go on attack, you, you take an attack on the devil's territory, which is to say you like infiltrate somewhere, someplace with truth, or, or like you bring healing to a situation. That's a foray, that's a sudden attack on enemy territory. You know, Jesus pulled off countless forays while he walked this earth. Like, he pulverized the devil everywhere he went. He attacked enemy territory. Um, and so that word foray ends in God. It begins with pure threes, which is interesting to me. Mm. It's amazing. You know, love, intimacy terms, like foreplay, becomes very obvious. Of course, ends in God. That's actually fascinating. Clearly it ends in God. And then there's this beautiful set of threes in the front there, foreplay. People creating babies all over this universe for God's glory, for God's eternal kingdom, for us to stay free. The freeway. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Anything with way we know is I am God in order. But it's fascinating to me to uh, Oh that's good. So freeway is I am one God. But in order, the word free equals one. The Lord our God, the Lord is one, famous title of God. And then I am. <laughs> of course, oh, the most obvious one of all. Every single day of the week, written on calendars all over this universe, ends in A-Y, which is God. So there, that's a famous one. Like, obviously we pay first attention, like any harvester of a gold mine. It's like... You pay first attention to the famous words. The God has ordained to be everywhere, like in calendars all over the universe. What's at the top? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So it's all day God, because every word ends in A-Y, which equals God. Like, do the math yourself. 1 plus 25 equals 26 equals God. The very definition of the number 26 is 25 plus 1 you would not have the number 26 as we know it if you did not have the number 25. So, 26 equals God, the number of letters in the English alphabet to glorify G-O-D, God, every day, all day, every day, it's God, God, God. Just all day, every day. And that's going to be taught in our schools. Teachers are going to stand at the, front of, at the front of classrooms in buildings all over this planet and they're going to speak the things that I am speaking right now. They're going to start with the seven days of the week written on the top of the, the whiteboard or the blackboard. And they're going to underline the A-Y ending at the end. Now I'm going to take you deep here. I'm going to take you even deeper in the spirit because I feel prompted to count the number of strokes in an A and a Y. It's very obvious because they're vertically symmetrical characters. But there's three strokes in an A and three strokes in a Y. It's the same number of strokes that are used to carve G-O-D. This is taking you deep here, and I needed to go there so that you got your full satisfaction, okay? Because what is the deepest water is the most satisfying. The deepest wells get the best juice. Count the number of strokes to write G-O-D, okay? It's, it's three plus three. It's very, a G is actually three strokes. A capital G is three strokes. One for the curve, 
one for the horizontal line and one for the final vertical line. One, two, three for the trinity. An O is a single stroke, one. A D is two strokes, one, two. So how many strokes is that to carve G-O-D? Six, literally three plus three to the glory of the trinity. Now, how many strokes is it to carve A-Y? Three plus three. <laughs> three for the A, three for the Y. And you always knew that an A and a Y were meant to get married. They were meant to be together. Like any graphic designer, any letter lover, I, I remember this from art class way in the back in the day. Remember when you were creating posters with capital letters? Well, if you, if you were, and you had to space them properly so they looked good? Well, if you were really smart as a designer, you recognize that when an A and a Y are side by side, the A is a triangle like this, the Y is a triangle like this. And so they actually, the kerning between the two letters needed to be closer together so that the spacing between all the letters looked pleasing and similar. You could not get away with just giving five centimeters to each and every letter. If the A and the Y were next door, they needed to be pushed tighter together because the A shape like this needs to click together with the Y shape like this. So all that discussion to declare that A, Y, side by side, screams out G-O-D. Stroke for stroke, math for math. A plus Y equals 26, God. A is three strokes, Y is three strokes. That's six strokes perfectly. G is three strokes, O-D is three strokes. That's six strokes perfectly. So, I prophesy in Jesus' name that teachers all over the universe will stand at the front of classrooms and they will have the seven days of the week written in English at the top of the board. They will underline the letters A, Y in capitals, all seven of them, and they will say, God, 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 God. They will say all day, every day, your life is God. They will say all day, every day, everything is for God, from God, through God, of God, for God, and belongs to God. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's all God, all the time. Okay? And um, so, there you go. We, we went hard there. And we know that whoever gets the last word wins the argument. Well, who gets the last word on the word day and the word Friday and Monday and Tuesday? Well, clearly God does. We just did the math on it. We, we proved it to our satisfaction. Okay, and now if you're really good, you can solve all the individual names of the seven days of the week and compare those letters to personal titles of God and, uh, you know, get your fill in that arena. That'll take you a while, and we'll just keep going for now. Um, okay. Um... By the way, the word gay means happy. That's what it's supposed to mean. <laughs> the word gay and the word happy both contain an A-Y, which is God. Um, God is the happiest person there is. He is the gayest person there is. Um, it's fascinating. It's fascinating to me that Y is um, often used as a vowel and that an A is the first vowel and the first letter in the English language. So um, an A plus a Y equals God. Fascinating. Um, give away, get away. Um, I love the simple words. Hey. All right. Head stay headway here, say anyway. Holiday. This is oh, this is good. So so holiday equals Jesus equals God's son. Um but now so holid equals son and the rest equals God. Holiday equals Jesus equals God's son. Oh, that's holiday is loaded. Syllable for syllable. So H O, ho ho ho, 
equals I am, I am, I am. Lid is, of course, the top of an item. Lid parallels father, mathematically, because father is on top. Okay? And then AY equals God. So you got some smoking hot titles of God screaming out at me in the word ho, ho, lid, day. Holiday. Ay, ay, ay. Um, but the most obvious slicing of the word holiday is God's son. Jesus equals God's son. Um, <laughs> you know, it's funny how every one of us is like children. When, when someone is angry, when someone is hateful, when someone is stubborn, when someone is cranky, when someone is... I, now I, I see grown men as children. I see all of us as children. Like, when someone is angry, when someone is pissed off, it's because they're unsatisfied. Like, the, and they, they need the real water. They need the real nourishment. Like, you don't beat up your child when they're screaming and crying. You think to yourself, this child is trying to get my, this, this child is unsatisfied. I need to feed them what they need. Just crappy fathering, crappy teachers, crappy parenting. I'm so sick of it. I'm like, stop abusing children and let's get our satisfaction from God, where it all comes from. It's just, the more I see of ha unhappy, miserable, cranky people, the more just, I'm like, would you just cry out to God? <laughs> would you just cry out to God in Jesus' name? and get your problems fixed from him. Oh, just get off my butt. Like, just, if you would just cry out to God in Jesus' name, he would fix all your problems. Trust me, you don't need, like, stop. The more people pray, the happier we're all going to be, and then we're not so pissed off when we're around each other. Like, it's not good rocket science. Ay, ay, ay. Holy day. Okay. Hooray. I love fun. So hooray for God. So we've satisfied ourselves that A is God. I'm going to say yay all day long. Yay, God. Yay, 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 yay. A. Um, so hip, hip, hooray. Oh, this is so hooray. Hoor is the I am. Good night. Hooray starts with I am. Or equals the, and uh, the rest equals God. 